Russia has stepped up its campaign on terror in Syria with a record 67 missions conducted in a single day. And bombs were dropped on the ISIL stronghold of Raqqa. And these pictures were shot from a pilot's cabin seconds before a command post was destroyed. A former prison, now terrorist base, was also hit, along with an arms depot and a training camp. Artis Murad Gazdiev is following the deadly trail left by retreating terrorists from the Syrian army's push. You may find some of the following pictures graphic. We've decided to get uh, a little closer to the front line, take a first-hand look, but the village itself is mostly deserted. I have no idea how those who stayed here until now managed. When the terrorists came, they butchered the villagers indiscriminately. They didn't need a reason. They are animals. A few months ago, when they arrived in the dead of night, we ran. We ran to the neighboring village with just the clothes we were wearing, but many didn't make it. And this is as close as we're going to go. Just behind those buildings there is the front line, where jihadists are making uh, their stand. And the Syrian army is being very careful because the jihadists here internationally recognize terrorists, people who the United States recognizes as terrorists, are packing Tau missiles, guided advanced missiles supplied by the United States to apparently moderate opposition, but now evidently in the hands of jihadists. So the going is slow. The terrorists that took this village were the Nusra Front, Al-Qaeda in Syria. Thanks to the Russian airstrikes, we are pushing the terrorists back. The Syrian troops stationed here have told us that they found the site of some sort of massacre, some sort of atrocity that's been committed by the jihadists uh, in Basra. They're driving us now to let us have a look. The surviving villagers weren't lying. Well, we've reached the house, the smell it's nauseating. I can't breathe through my nose. It looks like it's a young man, his hands tied in front of his body. Judging by the blood pulled around his head, I'd say he was shot in the head. Next, we had to cross a field, one not yet fully cleared of booby traps. Our military escort insisted we wear camouflage jackets for our own safety. Journalists are considered fair game for the Islamists. Uh, another young man, two more young men. Judging by the state of DK, they've been here for a while. So they were obviously killed while jihadists occupied this town, this village. Inside here, you have people's belongings, personal belongings, clothes, and more bodies. At least one more. Another man. The Syrian military refused to take us further, citing the risks. They say three dozen more bodies litter the village, the streets, in houses and bedrooms. All awaiting burial as their likely killers retreat. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from the village of Bahsa, Syria.